Guys, Chris here. Um, hey, we wanted to take you through um, the monitoring system here at FIG um, and just how to get started kind of on a high level view. And so I'll take you through just the different elements. Um, a lot of it is done with your phone. Um, and so I'll kind of take you through how we do it. So the first thing that we need to do is come down here. This unit here <clears throat> is basically a headphone amp and it's, it's, it's just different channels. We need to make sure, first of all, whatever monitor mix that you're controlling for yourself, that that is what's up. So we have these strips of tape here. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that the, you're going to pick one. And usually they have a, you know, we'll find out from the monitor engineer who that is. But in this case, we're going to make sure that we're controlling number one. So I would turn this all the way up. And then this would become my master volume, the level here. And so I want to make sure everything else is down. So I, I click through number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. They're all down. Number one, all the way up. This is a basic equalizer. So we can cut or boost bass, mid and treble, the overall level, and then this limiter, which actually works backwards. So if you needed to compress or limit the sound coming in, which I wouldn't recommend doing, you would turn this all the way to the right. Um, but if you did need to kind of limit things a little bit, then you would start turning it left. So that's what I would do. So we're gonna, we're gonna control number one today. And what we do, and let me bring my phone in here. What we do with the phone <clears throat> is first of all, we get the app. And the app is called M32Q. You can find that in the App Store, both at Android and, and iPhone. And we need to make sure that we're on the right Wi-Fi network. So this is Well Tech Monitors here at FIG currently. Okay. So we'll go back in to the app. So M32Q. And then we need to make sure that we're on the right IP address. Currently, right now, 2018, it's 10.0.1.2, which the monitor engineer can then remind you of, I'll press connect. This should then turn green, which it did. And then I'll say done. You then need to pick the mix that you're controlling. So this gives you a list. It doesn't matter left or right. So I'm going to pick number one, since that's what we were controlling here. So I'm going to say one and then done. Okay. So up is going to come this, this is your master which I would not recommend changing. I would recommend um, doing that from uh, the headphone amp. But if you turn this sideways, come on, there we go. Then you'll see all these different faders, which I'll flip through. So we have all kinds of drums here. We have percussion and bass and everything's labeled. So click track there. And then you can boost or cut, raise it or lower it every single instrument that we have going on there. So it makes it really, really simple. If you're on a stereo mix, then you might want to be able to pan, which is really simple. Up here is the pan, which if you click it, then you can see that I can move that left or right and then click out of it. So again, click, left and right. This is all the way left. I'm going to click it back. And that's in essence what this is. There's some grouping functions, which um, we would maybe get to, to in a later video, but that's in, in essence what this is. If all of this goes wrong, um, we have the ability to um, ask the monitor engineer who's on staff. And I would recommend doing that because they're going to help you or the worship pastor or whoever. So we're here to help. Um, but to get you started, again, go to the App Store, um, M32Q, make sure that you're on the right IP address, make sure you've got the right mix up, and you should be ready to go. So anyway, that's the, the kind of intro video to this thing, and I hope it helps. Thank <laughs> you.